All right, Libra, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is for the 2nd through the 8th of November. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. So if you're new to this type of astrology, do check the description down below because your sign might be different. So Libra, we have a lot of shifts and changes this week, one of which is the sun going into your first house. Happy birthday to those of you watching this for your sun sign who have your birthdays this week. Um, but um, lots of shifts, and um, it's all about the first house here. So this is going to happen around... Uh, midweek here, uh, Thursday, Friday sort of time period, and the sun does sextile up to Pluto when that happens. So there is this um, support for change and getting rid of some old structures, making way for the new. There's been a lot of emphasis in your 12th house, which has been those behind the scenes activities, spiritual time, alone time. And now um, a shift after that sort of time we do get in rest, we start to focus more in terms of our goals, our ambitions, our energy levels, our you know, self-assertiveness, our self-expression, things like that of the first house. So that that's where the focus will be. It's quite powerful with a sextile up to Pluto. And that's really going to be the emphasis for you Libras. Now, right at the beginning of the week, however, we do have this conjunction between Venus and Mars uh, taking place and right when they do they go into your 12th house so there's still a lot of energy taking place in the behind the scenes activities sector of your chart and that spiritual sector so here it's about motivation drive energy to uh, connect to the spiritual pursuit uh, to be, do things in an active way yet find the ebb and flow of it which is mars in that 12th house really that spiritual warrior sort of energy um, and enjoying it i think you could enjoy that uh, a long time that break in all of those sort of um, you know 12th house activities so that's going to be a shift very powerful this conjunction yin yang masculine feminine energy combined and venus does rule uh your eighth house as well as being your ruler so i think naturally you guys should be quite motivated um this early part of the week to i don't know get that a long time do more of those things that are really meaningful in life to you or something you might consider spiritual or uh, working behind the scenes. So that's going to be a strong emphasis of motivation. And um, likewise, you could enjoy actually the relationship stuff and the material financial stuff, interestingly enough, um, with Venus going over Mars. So that's going to be the uh, beginning of the week. One thing I want to say, too, is all week long, we do have Jupiter opposing up to Chiron still. In fact, that's going to go exact on Tuesday. So here, uh, more wounds being sort of rejuvenated and healed in regards to those uh, uh, social social aspects of life, which is the 11th house. It could be through friends, networking, connecting, more of that community sort of oriented energy, which has been very positive. There's been a lot of expansion here um, with Jupiter transiting this part of your chart. Uh, but um, it, I don't think it's going to come across as very challenging. In fact, I think just continuing to expand on networking and connecting and maybe even the more progressive, innovative aspects of life, naturally that rejuvenation is going to take place. Um, also involving your communications and your daily work environment environment uh, could be quite healing, especially when you're getting that routine and health taken care of and uh, bringing that extra attention on your communications. So through that, after Tuesday, there is that uh, revitalization. And then Thursday, Friday, after the sun goes into your first house, sextiles up to Pluto, Mercury trines up to Neptune. So there is more positive support. These, uh, middle to later part of uh, days of the week and here it's involving this sort of intuition that's been developing um, with mercury in your 12th house maybe the information through your dream space through meditations whatever it might be but more positive support for that and actually it could be a very relaxing time in fact even though there's a lot of focus on the um short-term goals and stuff. Now, Mercury does rule your ninth house of philosophy and spirituality uh, in the more uh, sort of wisdom sense. So I think naturally um, any type of things that, you know, tapping into that adventurous spirit, learning more about philosophy, sharing your, your wisdom with others, that kind of thing, I think you'll just notice quite easy going as well, maybe even some traveling as well um, with this sort of aspect. So that's going to be this uh, uh, Thursday, Friday. And then to cap off the week, we do have your ruler going over the North Node. So a lot of shifts actually uh, changing uh, changing, and, and taking place for you uh, this week, especially next week, though, when Venus goes exact over that North Node. So it's all about the life path. And for the past two years, the sort of shift to your life path has been to connect to that alone time, that spiritual time out, that meditative energy. And now um, this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, could be quite enjoyable. And I think the more open you are to learning about uh, your future unfoldments regarding those uh, spiritual matters, I think will just be more, uh, more positive energy going into next week when that aspect goes exact. But all of you should be feeling quite the shift and quite the transformation um, next week in regards to your life path.
And I think just being open to learning about it because the North Node's everything new. It's different, but it's new and it could be quite exciting. But we have to be willing to go into the unknown with that. And for you, very literally so, with it being in your 12th house, going into the unknown of, um, you know, the ebb and flows and the spiritual and uncertain aspects of life. So that's going to be important. But the biggest shift, I think, this week is going to be the sun going into your first uh, motivation, self-expression, quite high at the moment, maybe even a strong emphasis on networking and communicating, which has been the case um, already with Jupiter expanding that good positive energy with that while I'm um, doing these sort of behind the scenes activities. So Libra, have a great one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.